Good morning, folks. We have three interesting papers to see today. One is a thesis on lightning, another on freshwater content in the Arctic, and one on how planets lose their atmospheres and will deliver a note about Earth's behavior during our similar experiences. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we notice a few small eruptions from the limbs, including that incoming active region of sunspots just north of the equator over on the left. I was taking a bit closer look at that one, and I noticed it contains the kind of plasma concentration to watch out for with flaring activity. Within that bright active region, you will notice a horseshoe-shaped darker portion. That's a very low altitude filament in the corona. Any substantial flaring from the sunspots could release a tremendous CME from that mass, and it will be the primary thing we're watching in the coming days as that one turns in to face the Earth. Folks, this is only the second time I've seen something like this, a personal protection system from lightning. Things like this could end up being extremely valuable as lightning risk grows over the coming years, especially as the magnetic field weakens. Charged particle bombardment increases in the atmosphere along with lightning counts. Potential new project there. More good news from the Arctic, he said sarcastically. Not only is the Beaufort Gyre set to release its cold climate bomb on top of the AMOC shutdown, but observations are routinely suggesting there is even more fresh water than the models predict. Yes, those same models that suggest there is enough to make that cold climate bomb underestimate the magnitude of the coming event. Now, last but not least, folks, a great paper here on the atmospheric stripping of both high solar activity and of a planet losing its magnetic field. It's a good thing Earth's magnetic pole shifts don't last too long, because with the water we do have and the gases trapped underneath the surface, we are lucky in that the atmospheric pressure can quickly replenish during those short-lived stripping events that we do endure. Folks, we appreciate you signing up for the Observer Review e-magazine. Latest issue came out yesterday, and this is currently the best way to support the observers and for you to keep up on all the things that we cover each month. Link is listed down there below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.